Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I thought we were gonna do something a little bit stupid. Um, cause I'm kind of into potatoes, you know? I have this potato, I tried to find like a potato with like a flat face, as you can tell, and I thought, why don't we give it a makeover? I mean like drawing on it with Sharpies type thing. Um, I'm not really like, I don't mean like makeover as in try to make the potato look cute. I mean like makeover, you know, like um, make the potato probably look, the potato might look a little bit cursed by the end of this video. So, um, yeah, let's get into the video. So I'm not really like the best drawer, I would say, but I'm okay at drawing. So I'm kind of scared to see how this turns out, but it might turn out really freaky. I mean, kind of gonna make it look freaky, but yeah, anyway. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna draw is the eyes. I mean, like the potato itself doesn't have eyeballs right now. I mean, technically potatoes have eyes, but we're not talking science, plant science right now, we're talking goofy whatever i don't know what we're talking about anyway but yeah so i'm going to try my best to draw it i'm gonna make the pupils like really small on the eyes um because i got a feeling that making the pupils really small is gonna be just like look really bad i mean kind of want it to look bad like we want it to look creepy like you know creepy bad i don't, I don't know oh no the potato's face is a little lopsided i mean like not symmetrical Oh boy, yeah, um, those eyes are not necessarily the best. Oops, it's okay. I'm just gonna add the eye. Hmm. Oh, the next eye. Okay, so for the pupils, I think I'm gonna do really small ones, like really small. Like, look at this pupils. Like, those pupils are small. I think it, small pupils, they just kind of look creepy and weird. And I'm going to get it eyelashes. I don't really think this potato has a gender, to be honest. I would say it's a non gender specific potato. Kind of like Mr. Potato. Even though it says Mrs., Mr. and Mrs. Potato, it's technically, technically, apparently, they're non gender specific. So this is going to be the same thing for this potato. I'm not really good at drawing eyebrows, but we gave him some eyelashes. I mean, the potato eyelashes. It's, it's enough gender, my bad. Okay, um. Boy. Uh. <clears throat> okay, anyway. Now for the, I'm not sure, bottom row, like, I, I don't know what these are called. Eyelashes, bottom row eyelashes? Those things, I don't know what they're called, anyway. And now that looks um, a little bit scary. I think I'm gonna make his eyes. I mean, my bad. Okay, I keep I keep making it like it has a gender. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna make the eyes yellow because I feel like that's like a weird color. I don't really think anybody has yellow eyes to be honest. Oh, my fear is that I might have to like go back and redo the pupils. Oh yeah, you can still see the pupils. Okay, it's fine. And I'm using sharpies because um. I need like a marker that would actually make the colors show on the potato. I'm not gonna be using that many colors, but I think those eyes are good. I don't really want to color that in because it kind of has to be like the natural potato skin color. Oh god, the eyes are creepy. Oh no. Anyway, yeah, the eyeballs are. But that's just the beginning. It's gonna get a lot more cursed, aka creepy, aka suspicious. I don't know what you want to say. Those kind of words. Anyway. The next thing I'm gonna do is the mouth. Um, yeah, but before that, I just want to say that I feel like the yellow eyes, wait, I can't know if you see, are, like, kind of fading away. Like, it doesn't look as yellow as it can, as it could, you know? I mean, it kind of looks yellow from where, where I am, but, like, I don't know about you guys. Anyway, but, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll touch it up a few more yellow later. Anyway, for the mouth, I'm thinking something kind of creepy. Like, you know, like, those jack-o'-lanterns during Halloween? Kind of really creepy. Anyway, I think I'm gonna make the mouth really big. But before we do the mouth, actually, I'm, I lied, sorry. We're doing the nose first, cause you know, I don't want the nose to be like too small. I mean, I'm gonna do like a jack-o'-lantern nose. Like, I mean like, aka just like a triangle. Cause like, that's kind of simple. And plus I really suck at drawing noses. So I think if it's just like a triangle, that's fine. And it kind of looks creepy already, so yeah. And of course we need a mustache because we live for weird, like, it looks really weird, like, kind of weirdly not, I mean, the eyes are not necessarily realistic, but they're kind of creepy looking. 
like a more realistic. And then we just have like a simple jack-o'-lantern thing. Okay, now for the smile. This is gonna get. Okay, we still have enough room for the smile. I'm gonna make a big smile. No, no. Okay, I mean, that's not as big as I thought it was gonna be, but that's okay. Not perfectly straight, but that's not, that's okay. So yeah, he kind of looks like weirdly happy right now, but that's about to change. So we're gonna give him like plump lady lips looking. I mean, I said him, I said, I mean the, we're gonna give the Mel plump looking lips. Sorry, non judgmental specific. I keep getting confused. I keep saying it as if he has a gender. I just did it again. Okay, I gave up with the whole non gender specific thing. Potatoes don't have genders, but I'm just gonna call him him because right now I can't not not say that. So yeah, I don't know what the mouth, the mouth just looks creepy. It kind of looks like lips that are open up, but that's not all. We're gonna add little teeth because I think, you know, it's probably gonna end up looking a little bit like a, like Dracula, Dracula has a potato form by the end. I, I don't know what I'm doing right now, but um, oh boy. But yeah, we're obviously gonna color the lips in with bright red because why not? You know, boys can, I mean, this potato, can, potatoes can wear lipstick. Why not? Anyone can wear lipsticks. Lipstick. Okay, this is not the, no, oh, it's a little dried out. I mean, it's not dried out, but it kind of is though. You can see the red a lot better than you can with the yellow. This is probably going to be the more boring part of the video. I'm sorry. <laughs> the coloring in. Okay, great. Once we've colored in those lips, um, I'm not even sure what I could do next. Ooh. You know what, I should add him a unibrow. That would look good. Like a, like a unibrow, like right here. Okay, so yeah, for the unibrow, I mean, you guys probably already know what a unibrow is. It's basically like two eyebrows that are like connected. So it really looks, you know. Frida Kahlo was famous for having a unibrow. I'm just gonna draw the, like, the, like the basic, obviously we're gonna make it thicker, I promise, I promise we're gonna make it thicker. Oh no, it's because it's bumpy that this line is kind of straight. The top of the potato is a little bit more bumpy than the bottom. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be a little, I'm gonna make it more thicker onto the top because you know, we don't really have room for that. And plus it's gonna be a little bit hard, like worse because you know, it's not completely flat, but that's okay. Um, kind of, yeah, that, that's fine. I'm gonna color this in, this is gonna be hard because like, look, it's literally so bumpy. Okay, so now I'm done coloring in the unibrow. You didn't see the whole thing, but that's okay. Anyway, it was just me coloring it in. So yeah, um, it's very thick. And then another thing I thought, why not? The potato could be a little bit bald, you know? Because he's kind of like, he's like, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to describe this potato. But yeah, he's a drag queen. Let's just say, yeah, he's a drag queen. He wears wigs, so he doesn't really need real hair. So he just has a little bit of, you know, bald hairs on the top of his head. That's okay, you know? <laughs> Oh no, that, 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 that does not look good. I tried adding him like a little bit of hair. You know, like grandpas have like that little fluff of hair on their head. Okay, that looks better. Anyway, uh, it doesn't really look that good, but you can't really see it that, that, that well. Anyway, but you know, because he's like a drag queen, he likes to, you know, get ready, shave his beard. So I'm gonna make it look as if he had a beard, but he shaved it. Like, I mean, by just like making polka dots around his like face, you know, like this. Yeah. This could take a while. So this is like the result of the little, like, I would say shaved beard. And we, the last thing I want to add, I don't know why, I just want to make this look creepy. I don't really know, I feel like this potato is starting to have a little bit more character. He kind of looks like a Dracula. I don't know what I was thinking about the drag queen. He doesn't really look that drag queeny, you know? Because like the lips kind of could be vampire -y. But to make it look a little bit more feminine, I would say, I would add, I'm going to add him some, you know, blush or the pink stuff on the cheeks. I don't, I think this is gonna make it look really bad, but you know what? It's supposed to look cuckoo crazy, really goofy, stupid, you know? It's not supposed to look super professional, you know? It's supposed to look like, you know, I don't know. It's 
So yeah, this is like the, um, I colored in the cheeks and I put the yellow. This is the final result. So I'm gonna let you guys see it like really nice for real. Hope you guys can, you know, there you go. This potato, he kind of looks like a Dracula potato, I'd say. I would say it's Dracula. If Dracula was a potato, this is how he would look like. I don't know why the red cheeks, but you know what, why not? Anyway, but yeah, the bald little hair star grandpa thing anyway but yeah that's it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video it's kind of a weird one but if you guys want me to like draw or like give makeover to more fruits like bananas or maybe i should do something like this for an apple like if you guys really want that please like this video anyway guys bye and i'll see you guys next time